<laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back. Well, guys, in today's video, we're going to go upstairs and we're going to take care of a problem we have in the house. All right, so what we got is our refrigerator is making a noise, okay? And it's making a noise at the evaporator fan, which is in the back of the freezer, okay? Now, the old uh, refrigerator that we have is an Amana refrigerator, and it's the kind that has the freezer on the bottom instead of the top. Okay, for whatever reason and it was in this house when we purchased it back in 2010 so who knows how long the refrigerator was in there before we bought it I'm you know from the paperwork that I looked up I think it might be a 2001 or 2002 model refrigerator but I can't swear to it but anyhow we're gonna go up there and we're gonna take a look at this refrigerator and see what we need to do to fix it all right so we're gonna take the camera and all that and we're gonna head inside go up to the kitchen all right, everybody. So right here, this is our problem child that we gotta take care of today. And I'm gonna get you a little closer here and let you hear the noise in this thing. You can hear that. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get you guys right down here with me, a lot closer than this. And what we're gonna do is, I gotta go get my big cooler and we're gonna take all this stuff out of the freezer. And then we'll get you in there and show you what we gotta do to get this evaporator fan motor out. All right, so we've got this thing completely unloaded. And if you'll notice back there in the back of the freezer where that vent is, the evaporator fan motor is back there, okay? So we've got to take the ice maker loose over here on the left. We've got to pull that grate out there. And then there are some screws there in the top corners. Looks like a quarter inch nut driver is what we're going to need. And then we'll pull that back panel down and that'll give us access to the evaporator fan and the motor assembly. All right, so I'm gonna go grab some tools and we'll knock that out. So right there's our culprit. There's the evaporator. This is the evaporator coil. That's the part that gets cold. All right, and there's the little motor with the fan and it circulates air, you know, around that coil and then out and up into the freezer and refrigerator, okay? In fact, if you look way up there, you'll see that little passage in the very back. That's where it goes up to the refrigerator. All right. So what we gotta do now is I'm gonna turn the power off on this thing and pull that sucker out and then we'll get down there on the workbench and take a look at it, okay? All right, guys, well, here's our subject for the afternoon. This is the evaporator fan motor assembly. And, uh, you know, when I turned the power off, you know, when I unplugged the refrigerator, you know, it went dark, so I couldn't record the last two screws and they were right here. There's one here and there's one here going in the back of the refrigerator like that, okay? So, Let's talk about this assembly. Now, when you go on like the Amana or Whirlpool or Kenmore, you know, Sears parts, any of those places where they'll sell you the parts to fix this thing, all you can find is the entire assembly for about $120, okay? So I said, that's a lot of money, man, for a little motor. I don't need all this other stuff. So I did a little research, kept looking at photographs of the assembly and realized that I could just buy a motor but never could find the part number for just this motor to cross it over to an aftermarket version so I just kept looking at it looking at photos until I narrowed it down to it looked like this was the one that would replace it okay and I just bought it off of Amazon and it's made by Blue Stars okay which is just a little aftermarket you know appliance parts place so for about 24 bucks I can buy the whole motor by the motor versus 120 something dollars for the entire assembly okay so now what we got to do is we need to get this motor out 
and it's just basically held on right here. You take these two screws here, and this back part of the motor comes off, and you know you kind of have to like disassemble the motor a little bit to get these brackets out. Then they'll go in right underneath these screws here, and they'll go right back in there, okay? And then put the fan motor back on. Right, guys as you can see there we've got it back together I've got the fan back on it no clearance problems there it turns free yep, so now all we gotta do is go back up there and get that thing back into the refrigerator all right so there we go we got it all done we've got the ice maker back in and the handle down we'll let it start cycling and make sure everything's good there and the motor is much quieter than the old one we took out in fact my wife commented immediately on how much quieter the freezer was. So now she gets the fun job of cleaning up my mess down here and wiping everything down and putting all the food back in it. Okay, so I'm super happy because you've just saved us like $600 or more <laughs> by fixing the refrigerator. Or maybe a hundred. <laughs> no, we might have to buy a whole machine. Yeah, that's a whole right. A new appliance. Yep. Mm -hmm, so thank you very much. You're welcome. Give me another kiss. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. And we hope you come back for the next one. Mm -hmm.